guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting right to episode 17 of Star Twinkle Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. <laughs> well, hopefully they get to actually look around this time, because they only went to one place last time. That's not no house, that's a mansion or a castle. I just want to know who her VA is. That's all. That's it. Nothing else. I am tired. So, so tired. I woke up like about an hour or two ago. Like for the second time today. <laughs> No, blue cast more in front of me. Why? Did you plan to steal something? Mm-hmm. Are in here. Uh-huh. Right now, after this, she's going bye bye. Unfortunately, she can't. Sorry. So I'm guessing now, since she is exposed as Blue Cat, I don't think she's going to go back to Mal anytime soon. Yeah, right. Well, of course money makes people talk. I mean, god dang, it, it makes the world go round, too. Time is money, and money is time. Okay. <laughs> There's always something in my freaking eye. Oh. 
Um, y'all forgot the E on treasure? <laughs> okay, so just crawl. But then how is she going to run if she can't get up? Well, apparently you... Hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Well, that's her answer. She didn't technically ruin your youth. It was you yourself. If you didn't like her, then you wouldn't be in this predicament. I don't trust that opening. Huh? What is this, Godzilla now? Private troops, are you serious? Dragon cores, corpse. Dang, are you okay? Yeah. So then why would you just be standing here the whole entire time? Wouldn't that be a waste of time? No, that's Blue cat. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, and plus she's also doing it to help herself. I mean, she's not really thinking about you for. I mean, you for. So it's just like mm, she's gonna play you in the end. Come on, she is a thief after all. What's in that room? Darkness? Great. Yeah, but that's an eyeball. Three eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Really? Is that supposed to be Cerberus, an alien version? Yeah, the space Cerberus. What the absolute F? <laughs> What's wrong? 
he he kind of what the heck did you just ah uh, okay Well, I mean, technically, Cerberus is a dog, so, mm. <laughs> A regular human girl. No, just pit pocket. We're phantom themes, right? But see, doesn't this seem a little too easy? Like they all they had to do now is just go on the toppest floor of the highest tower ish and then next thing you know, treasure. Something about that isn't a little right. Something smells fishy. Okay, break open the glass. Is that where you're from? It's a big ass backpack. <laughs> really, no treasure chest. Mm -hmm. What else do you have planned? Are you serious? The freaking statues of monsters as well. What the flying mother effing BS is this BS? Are you serious? She's from Planet Rainbow. Say she's Saint Tail. Except Saint Tell ain't do that. Saint Tell just gave it back to the people who asked her. It's so unfair. And the question is, are they going to do a full thing, or are they just going to half it? And I feel like they're going to do it. Yep, they're doing it full. Mm. We are episode 17, and we still doing a full freaking transformation. When if you look at freaking Hagato, or even Alamo by episode 17, we didn't even have full behind transformations in this. I don't know. Someone's just going to be like, nah, she's just jealous. No, it's not even not. Nah. It's just Sometimes you just need to continue on and not always do a full freaking transformation. Learn from Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon did that ish. Which they sometimes did right and then they sometimes did wrong.
They care, unlike you. Of course, you gotta use money to build something. Are you serious? Of course you guys would be here as well. So then how in the world did you get in the house without being caught, detected, like the rest of them? You went the back way? It came from above. Okay. Did you really just... Okay, that's fine. Not blue cap. Mm -mm. Oh, it's white and yellow. So this should be five for her to? It's either four or five. Of course. Mm -hmm. See? Get in the box. Get in the cake. No! Because it would be too easy and too freaking hard for him to just stay there. No cost. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> Ugh. 
halfway done. Just five more left. Dang, they might get this done before, like, the halfway point. So then maybe, just maybe, like the final five, because we only now have five left, and see, I would have to go back and look up something to see how much each girl has. What if the final five all belong to her, if she is the last here, which I'm guessing she is, of course. But I mean, the episode was good. It was nice to have her as, not only as an ally, but kind of a friend, more of a friend of me in a way. And yeah. She's just still very mysterious. I still love the fact that she went from <laughs> Blue Cat to Mal just to get friends. Just be like, yeah, we're going to help you. Be like, yeah, you only want Mal. That's right. But I feel bad for him because he's like, oh my God, my youth is so destroyed now because I found out the truth. And it's like, not really. You could still like her even though technically she is the bad guy, but it's okay. I mean, that's life. You, you learn certain things about certain people and certain characters, and you're just like, screw it. But I still feel bad for him. <laughs> but it was, I don't know, like, where would I put this episode? Top 15, maybe? But it was good. I enjoyed it. It was different. To have them help her kind of quote-unquote steal cute. Just reminding me of Persona 5 a lot. She, she did not just do that. They did not have those two like, mm-mm. We've got something to talk about real quick. Okay, so number one, they did not just put Elena and Madoka as, you know, kind of a couple. I mean, because I, in my opinion, consider them a couple because they just look like a couple. They just look so cute together. Plus, they're like, they're the mom and dad of the group. And <laughs> he got it. And freaking Lala, they're just the kids. And then once, once your blue cat comes in, she'll be the other kid. <laughs> But I am glad that this next episode is going to focus on a parent because of the fact is like, okay, we're now 18, by officially next Sunday, 18 episodes into this show. And I'm going to, I'm going to be a little biased. I'm going to compare it to previous pretty curious, the ones that, cause I've seen all of them. Typically with the parents, the parents are not always around. There may be in the entire 49 episodes, 48, 49 episodes, they will maybe do an episode or several episodes that will focus on family members. Now, I think there was a couple episodes in Hagato that did it, a couple episodes in Alamo that did it, and then a couple episodes in Go Princess. I don't really specifically remember in Maho Girls if they ever really focused on um, Mirai's uh, parents. Because Rico, we didn't know, Rico only had, um, her sister, right? So I think they probably did. I don't really remember because it's been a long time since I've seen the show. But I don't want them to be like, yeah, let's do one episode on one parent. And then so many episodes, 10 episodes later, we do another episode focusing on a parent. If you're going to focus on a parent, do it right. Don't kind of mess it up. Because then by the end of the series, specifically me and anyone else who is watching this series, they're going to feel like they don't really know a lot about the parents. But the biggest thing is, and I did say this like before with somebody, it's not really about the parents. It's about these children. They're the main characters. The parents and friends and um, children and such, 
they're all the secondary. Like we, I can like, okay, Elena's family, for example, we just really met both of her parents. We've met like the first few kids, um, brothers and sisters on her family, on her family before we met Toma. And then in the other episode, when we finally met her parents and Toma and getting to see the other half of the kids, that was just more like explanation on their family, how their family is, and then certain things, which is really adorable. Now with Hikari, her mom is a manga artist. We don't really know that much about her dad, and I'm hoping that they can do a little backstory next week on her dad, just something instead of just saying, "Oh, hey, dad's like this," or "Dad's like that," or just having the full episode just be specifically about. A mother. She is a single mother who still has her um, her own parents with her, living with her and her daughter. But in my opinion, she's still a single mom. She's just like balancing work and still having time with her child. But I don't know. I mean, I, I can say a lot of things about it, and some people will probably at me on Twitter or any other of my social medias and say other things as well. But this is just technically how I feel. Some people feel this way, some people don't, but it's just, do it right. Do it kind of, don't BS it, don't half-ass it, nothing. Do it right. And kind of honor parents, whether they're single parents or it's both of the parents. Or it's the a single parent and grandparents. Just honor it. That's it. Don't just do one freaking episode for each one of these girls because we really, except Lala, because we don't really know much about Lala and her family. With Madoka, she's kind of had an episode with her dad, but not really. It's just her talking about her dad, um, which was an episode ago. Which, fairly, anytime when they do an episode about Madoka, that's always what it's going to be. Madoka always saying something about her dad. And then we get to see her parents a little bit, but not as much. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 17 of Star Trickle Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Squad. And, of course, hopefully if this freaking video comes out on a freaking Sunday before um, <sighs> Attack on Titan comes out, maybe I can get it out. If not, you'll see it on Monday. Because, I mean, Aikatsu was nice and Aikatsu came out on Sundays. I'm just wondering why this show can't because it is a little weird because sometimes like if I'm busy on a Monday I have to like before I do anything else do this and get this out and then schedule my day because it's now three o'clock and I still have like three other shows to get done before my day is over but until then I will see you guys all next time bye